Hello everyone, Ishani here. As a design team member for Craft Angles, today I've got three projects featuring envelopes. We often use envelopes to send cards in, but today my projects incorporate envelopes. Please be sure to visit Handmade Blog linked in the description box below to check my blog post where I have linked all the supplies. For this card, I am going to use vellum paper by Craft Angles which is 180 gsm in weight and I am going to use VR Memory Keepers 123 punch board for making my envelope. For the envelope which will be the size 2 by 3 and a half, the paper size needs to be 5 and 1 by 8 and the punch guide too. I take my vellum sheet and put it at 2 and score as per the directions and punch. I go around 90 degrees check my scored lines, score again and punch and I do it at all the four sides. I round the two flaps and with my fingers I burnish all the sides and make my envelope. I take a tape runner and adhere one of the flaps for the base of the envelope. Now here the envelope is ready and let's get on to making the card. I am taking craft angle stencil called XOXO and on natural white paper which is the base for my card. With the blending brush, I blend Distress Oxide in picked raspberry color. And for the panel to be ready, I cut it with a frame die. For the sentiment, I am using the Love Sentiment Element Sheets and I am going to cut out Sending Love with Paper Trimmer. For some interest, I am going to give it a fishtail banner look. For the card base, I am using rose pink cardstock by Craft Angles. I cut an A2 size top folding note card. And here I am assembling all my elements and checking how it will look together. Do you see the flowers that are inside the envelope? These are the spring flower element sheets by Craft Angles. I fussy cut my flowers. And with the tape runner, I adhere them inside my envelope. To assemble my card, I use Fevistick, the back of XOXO panel. I take the envelope and I'm going to give it a tilt. And again with the tape runner, I adhere my envelope. I've got a little heart which I've got because the tape is visible on the vellum so this would be helpful in hiding it. I put some foam tape behind my sentiment and adhere it on my envelope. So here is a lovely floral card with the envelope full of flowers and love for your loved ones. I hope you liked this card. For the next card again I am going to use the vellum paper by Craft Angles and this time I am not going to use the punching board for making the envelopes but I am going to use a heart die. If you have a heart die it is great but if you do not have it then not to worry. You can get the Craft Angles heart masking stencils and you can trace your own heart and this is the perfect size for making mini envelopes. While cutting your heart this way, you do not even get the line which we usually get in case we are folding a paper and cutting out a heart. And now with an eraser, I just erase off the pencil marks from the tracing that I did. And here we have a small little heart, similar to the ones that I have die cut. I am going to need two hearts because I am making two envelopes. For making the envelope, I first take my heart and align it with the grid line on my craft mat. The center of the heart aligned with the line. 
Then I take one of the sides and fold it in half and burnish with my fingers. Then I take the other side and do the similar folding. Then I take the bottom part and this will be the flap of the envelope and then the top part which is folded for as a base of my envelope. I reinforce the folds with the bone folder and because this is a very small envelope and there are folded papers inside I just cut out the ones which are not needed with scissors so that the envelope folds nicely. After trimming the unwanted portion of the envelope I adhere the sides with the tape runner and that's it. For the base of the card I am using natural white paper and I have taken the second largest rectangle from the rectangular mask by Craft Angles and another stencil called Geometric Flowers. The rectangular mask will be positioned on my card base and I am now positioning my stencil so as I have a border of the geometric flowers around the card base. I use double sided tape to temporarily adhere my rectangular mask with the stencil and then I secure my stencil on my craft mat. I am taking the blender brushes by craft angles and using two color of distress oxides candied apple and abandoned coral for stenciling the geometric flowers onto my card base. I use the lighter color on half of the card and the darker one on the rest. These brushes blend beautifully and if you've yet not tried them I cannot praise them enough. They are just gorgeous to blend with, especially through stencils, even without. Now for the reveal, look at how beautifully the rectangular mask masks the stencil and now we have the pattern all around our card base. I was not sure how would I place my envelopes and that is the time when I noticed that my floral pattern was a little bit discontinuous. So I take my stencil again and position it and put my color again through the stencil. Because I wanted to add interest, I took my little envelopes and put the new shaker elements that have been launched by Craft Angles into it. I'm using the red shimmer hearts and what I do is I take a little clear tape and seal the envelope from behind. That way all the shaker elements will be contained in the envelope. I take off a little tack from the tape and then trim off the excess. I do the same with the other little envelope. And now we have two little envelopes filled with shaker hearts making this card a little bit interactive too. I changed the orientation of my card base and as I was having it top folding, now I would have it side folding. I take the stamp set Love You Loads and the stamp Love which has the outlines and with the stamping platform, I stamp it with the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. The stamp set also has a word Sending which I use to complete my sentiment. There was a little black spot which I cover up with the white gel pen. And with double sided tape, I adhere my little envelopes onto the card base. Because I thought it needed something extra, I Take ruby red cardstock by Craft Angles and cut out a card base for adhering my stenciled panel over it. And here we have an interactive card for sending love to your loved ones. I hope you liked my idea of using little hearts for making your own envelopes and would try them yourself.
coming on to the last card i'm going to use the punch board for making a money envelope a cash envelope or a shagun envelope as we call it in india for which i am going to use a sheet of dimension 8 inches as my envelope would be of size 3 by 6 and a half with a punch guide as given here i take craft angles old lace card stock and cut it into 8 by 8 square sheet of paper i score according to the instructions at 2 and 3 by 4 and keep rotating my paper and punching on all the four sides when it's punched i round off the flaps with the corner rounder and even though i can burnish it with my tool i don't know why i use my fingers and make my envelope if you notice that one of the flaps from down below is crossing the scored line above i need to trim it off then i use tape runner and adhere my flaps and this extra paper can be folded and kept like this just to secure the envelope and now that the envelope is ready let's get on to designing our envelope i'm using these beautiful lotus by craft angles from the stamp set hello lovely and i'll be using craft angles watercolor paper for my lotuses i plan to do gold heat embossing for the flowers and i take my watercolor paper place it on my stamping platform I prep the surface with anti-static tool and stamp my images with Versamark. I take gold embossing powder and with the heat tool I heat emboss it. Now that the images are heat embossed, I cut them out to get them ready to do the next fun thing. I'm going to use watercoloring method, but this time it is different. I'm going to use these special pigment powders called brushos in scarlet and alizarin and crimson. A little amount goes a long way for these powdered colors. I sprinkle a little onto one of my lotus and then spray some water over it. And look at how beautifully the color has come. You could hardly see the powder that I had sprinkled but look at the bright colors. I take a brush and just spread a little more though you could just let it go naturally wherever the color wanted to move. I do the same for the second lotus, sprinkle some color and put some water and now I use a heat tool to fasten the process of drying. As the lotus is air dry, let us work on the background for the envelope. I am using wave stencil by craft angles and with the blending brush I am going to blend some Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink at the bottom of the envelope to depict water for the lotus to grow in. For a little more interest of the panel, I stamp the lotus with pale blush pink color. And then for the sentiment, I am using Mr. and Mrs. from the stamp set, Mr. and Mrs. with Versa Mark. And I'm going to heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. Now that the lotus are ready, I use green color to color the stems. And now I fussy cut them. With the lotus ready, I realized we could have a little more stamped shadow on the envelope so I stamp 
with the same ink lotus two more times and because one of the lotus is incomplete I use a brown pencil to complete that lotus with the watermark lotus ready I glue my lotus onto the card base and the little bud too on the other side I adhere the other lotus And here is the money envelope or the shagun envelope perfect to be gifted to a newlywed for starting their new journey. Lotus are auspicious symbol and so perfect for the envelope which contains money. To me money envelopes are one of the best gifts with handmade touch and something which can help a newlywed start their life in a better way. I hope you liked all the projects today that I shared. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.